Meiosis, a division process that only occurs in sex cells. Before meiosis, a growth period known as interphase is required. In this phase, the DNA replicates and the centrioles start to form spindle fibers. Then the DNA condenses into chromosomes. Now the next phase is called prophase 1. With the nuclear membrane now dissolved, the homologous chromosomes pair up. The chromosome pairs then swap segments to increase genetic variation in the child, in a process known as crossing over. The next phase is metaphase 1. The chromosome pairs then line up in the middle of the cell, and the spindle fibers from the centrioles attach to the centromeres of the chromosomes. The next phase, anaphase, is when the spindle fibers separate the chromosome pairs and pull them towards the centrioles, but sister chromatids are still connected with the centromere. In this phase, telophase 1, the nuclear membrane reappears and the cleavage furrow begins to appear. The next step is cytokinesis when the cytoplasm divides. Now the cells have gone from diploid to haploid. Now we have two non-identical cells. This next phase is prophase 2. In this phase, the nuclear membranes dissolve and the spindle fibers start to form from the centrioles. This next phase is metaphase 2. The chromosomes line up in the middle of the cell and the spindle fibers from the centrioles attach to the centromeres. In this phase, anaphase 2, chromosomes separate and one chromatid from each pair travels to each pole. In this phase, telophase 2, the nuclear membranes appear around each chromosome set and the cleavage furrows begin to appear. Now in cytokinesis 2, the cytoplasm of the two haploid cells divide completely into four genetically unique haploid cells. All in all, meiosis has made four gametes from one diploid cell. Alright, now dad has his gametes and mom has her gametes. So now this is how fertilization works. Dad's gamete, known as the sperm, moves towards mom's gamete, known as the egg. When contact is made between the two, an embryo is formed. 